what is a fishing Alex on today's video we'll be talking about spinner baits uh, I've been uh, trying out a few couple of things uh, for the past year year and a half uh, ever since I started fishing spinner baits and uh, what I have found out is you get a lot more hookups with the trailer hook and uh, then I start experimenting with trailer hooks uh, what I found out is the VMC trailer hooks the way they're set up these things they're not the best uh, when you cast them sometimes you want to cast as far as possible so when you whip that uh, rod out this is what happens basically it's not straight anymore and you get uh, a couple of fish that uh, get away with it and the reason I start uh, using trailer hooks instead of paddle tails or grubs a lot of people put grubs uh, just to get more action well on a spinner bait like this you get enough vibration so you don't need the uh, sorry um, you don't need the extra vibration just to catch the fish's attention I mean with a big Colorado braid like that and uh, or uh, big uh, willow blades I, I think it's a little bit unnecessary and uh, you should uh, try to use a, 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 if you're getting a lot of uh, short strikes just add a, a trailer hook on it and it increases the hookup ratio dramatically and uh, sometimes they'll go for the blades I had that happen to me a couple of times uh, last year uh, they'll, they'll hook onto the blade and usually the trailer hook gets them right underneath the uh, throat and uh, you get a foul hook fish but uh, at least you get a foul uh, fish out so what i do is i'll usually grab uh, these are soft beads i came across this when i was fishing uh for trout and i mean still had trout still has the same thing almost i know a couple of trout guys that are gonna be like no it's not the same thing but uh either way uh soft beads and what i do is i like i i do like uh, the vmc hooks but i do remove the rubber once you remove the rubber and uh, just put it through some of them have There we go. Once you put it through, and all you do is just add the bead. Just don't want to poke myself. These hooks are sharp. All right. Once you put the bead through, and I would like I like to usually get them right about here this one now these are from lunker hunt um they're okay spinners they do have sharp hooks but uh their hooks are a little bit smaller than uh striking so what i like to do is i'll just leave it right in the middle so or maybe a little bit more up so when i'm pulling it and the trailer hook is right behind it always and the other benefit of a loose um, trailer hook is when the fish opens up its mouth it creates a suction so it'll suck up the hook in his mouth and that's why it, actually I, that's why I think it I believe it does increase your hookup ratios and for some reason I do like uh, the spinner baits they're tied down just like this instead of open end i have not figured out uh, yet if there's a difference or not but uh, like i said i prefer uh, closed end and do you guys if you guys have any tricks to keep them close um i was planning on twisting the uh wire around it or maybe just adding a, a little uh lead or another wire 
to hold them i'm pretty sure you guys have already done a couple of creative stuff if you can leave a comment down below how do you like to fish them and uh, have you seen any benefits to the trailer hooks or not and what are your favorite spinner baits uh, mine will be striking because they already come with the uh, trailer hook and their trailer hooks are pretty good um, well all their hooks are pretty good I believe they use the mustad or uh, gamakatsus and I'm a big fan of uh, both of the brands actually I have tried uh, a couple of different spinners um, like I said the best ones uh, it's more of personal preference but I do like uh, striking uh, simply because they do make the a little bit heavier jigs I mean uh, heads and they have extremely sharp hooks and all we gotta do is just move a trailer hook stopper and this one is ready to fish all we gotta do is remove I just bought this I'm um, getting ready for another tournament and I believe the spinner baits are gonna be big game changer so once you once you're fishing it the hook is free on the back and when a fish comes up to it well uh, when it opens up its mouth and it goes straight in set the hook and i usually hook them up right on the top top corner of their mouth so i mean it's a pretty straight hack for me and i have heard uh, people use uh, treble hooks um, I have not tried it yet, but I am willing to give it a try. Uh, what they do is uh, uh, they'll use a swivel. They'll put a swivel to it and they'll attach it with a split ring on uh, the treble. And supposedly it's better, but uh, when you're fishing grass or wood, when you have a trailer hook, you tend to get hang up more. But if you're fishing like uh, top of the grass or uh, a little bit low vegetation, I don't have a problem. I do use uh, 12 to 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon. So if if it's getting uh, snagged up, I'll just rip it through. And uh, most of the time I do get more bites uh, when I rip it through the grass. But uh, I hope this video helps you out, guys. And I'll catch you on the water.